Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, 801 Mountain Riders. I've got Keith and Kevin and myself here. We're going to do a, oh, there's Kev. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We're going to do a one year in review on the 2021 Skidoo Turbo, factory turbo. So a year ago, we had the opportunity to come up and do some backcountry riding on the uh, 20 and a half um, factory turbo when it was released. So we thought it'd be, give us, we'll give you guys our honest opinion on what, it, what it's like and what, uh, what we think. We've been, I've got 900 miles on mine right now. And I know that's not a lot to a lot of people, but for us that only ride weekends and a few extra days a year, that's quite a bit for me. So my honest opinion, uh, real quick, I love it. It's probably one of the funnest sleds I've had in a long time. So one thing, right right from the very get-go, um, as a group, a couple of us, we uh, added an additional horsepower. We got the Bikeman Tunes. Um, I'm running stage two still. I've, I've kept stage two all year. I love it. Um, I've never gone to stage three and I never ran stage one. So, um, you know, Divi and Ink knocked it out of the park on our wraps this year. Um, we got to give them a big thanks. They uh, they all, they hooked us up. And uh, Bikeman, we got, so on my sled, I got the Bikeman tune, a Bikeman can, and a Bikeman charge tube. And I've got iBackShift Joe's um, 850 clutch kit for the turbo. And uh, it's running amazing. You know, we had to spend a little bit of time at the first of the year to get it dialed in, the clutching for the elevation and stuff we ride. But I'll tell you, it's it's been, non-stop haven't had to tinker with it all year so that's a plus so um it's been a great sled keith thoughts <clears throat> not too many but just love the sled gas and go add oil handles great i run the same setup as kelly in terms of extra horsepower and the the same can um it's just an amazing sled you know i come off of an aftermarket turbo in my 19 summit and uh yeah, it's it's everything that sled was, and and uh, much easier to maintain. Like I say, just just been a flawless sled all season. I only have 500 miles, but uh, 500 great miles. Um, I'm running the Expert versus the Free Ride. Love the setup on the Expert. It's just been a phenomenal sled. Gives you a lot of confidence uh, riding technical terrain with the new setup. So Keith, real quick, a um, couple questions. Because your 18, your 18 was a, I mean, it was set up and it ran, it ran great. Yeah. Um, coming from that 19 with that six pound kit that you had on there, um, how does this compare? Because right now we're running about six and a half to seven right. pounds. So what do you think? It's really hard to tell a difference other than the, the factory turbo has so much better bottom end snap, uh, the way the power comes on uh, with the clutching, you know, I run the same I backshift kit, clutch kit uh, from Dynamo Joe. And, and I think on the top, maybe the aftermarket sled that I had before, aftermarket turbo on, on my other sled, maybe it had a touch more, but I don't miss it. Um, just the consistency of the power, um, it's, it's hard to beat. I, I would have to agree with that. They haven't missed a beat. I mean, I had a factory turbo on my 18 free ride, uh, aftermarket turbo on that, and ran great, and, but it's just hit and miss. Some days it ran great, and some days it it didn't and it's frustrating <clears throat> honestly these are a pull and go even with the stage two kit that we've got in them right now and i mean if we went stage three all day long i think it would be keeping or going way past the yeah the aftermarket so agreed um it's, it's been a fun sled it's been phenomenal so so i'm running the free ride as well um i i did not do a tune or anything so mine simply just has a bikeman can on it uh, I didn't do any clutching or anything, so mine's probably the most stock out of out of the three that we're reporting on today. Um, and uh, I still have my uh, 18 free ride, um, and it's it has an aftermarket turbo on it, and still love it. That that one runs great, but it's um, sort of on and off. And and uh, what I've really loved about this is just the smooth transitions. Um, haven't had an issue haven't tinkered at all i haven't even adjusted my clicker so um it's been uh just clean and, and easy to ride so kevin real quick um i know we've switched on and off all year between our sleds and honestly the stock 
turbo is, I mean, just stock with no tunes is still an amazing. What do you, what do you think about the, the stage two tune compared to the factory? What do you, I mean, you know, is it there, there's a little more on that, on the top end, I think, um, you lose a little bit on the bottom end. It seemed like to me, but, um, you know, for me, um, I, I, I'm not sure I would, uh, do what I did again. I'm, I'm actually really happy with just this clean stock machine. I don't know that I'm that good of a rider. Maybe I don't notice it that much, but, uh, this is certainly enough for me, but, um, certainly I've ridden both of theirs and, and, uh, they're, they're, they're a lot more poppy and fun. Um, and probably in some technical terrain, probably some huge advantages. Yeah. You know, and Kevin hit it. I mean, I've rode Kevin's sled um, on and off. I've rode my sl son sled, and his is totally stock. It's got got a clutch kit on it, and that's it. And uh, they're all amazing. I mean, you do feel the the additional horsepower climbing some hills, and you know, getting out of some situations. But I mean, it's Keith. You ran stage one. What did you think of stage one? Stage one was good. Um, but I think stage two is a lot better. Yeah. It just stage one to Kevin's point, you lose just a little bit on the bottom. You know, the factory tune seems to have a little more snap to it in the mid range and low. Um, so if you're going to run extra horsepower, get, just run stage two. Yeah, I, I, I would totally agree. And like we said, we haven't gone to stage three. I've talked to guys that have stage three and, and they love it. And who knows, maybe next year we'll flash them and run stage three. I don't know, but Right now, we've just been having a blast. I mean, it's been a great season. Um, how many miles you got on yours, Kevin? Um, I'm just pushing a thousand now. A thousand, yeah. Well, it makes a difference when it's 30 minutes out of your back door to come riding every <laughs> yeah. all the time. And so, it's been a bad year. That's a bad year for me. Yeah. So, and he's riding two different sleds. So, yep. you know, honestly, uh, it's been awesome. ADS, definitely. Um, we love their dealership. We love the the um, personnel down there. I think they've always treated us with respect. Um, you know, we treat them with respect. And I know a lot of people, when it comes to dealers, um, give, you know, I don't know, they get pissy with them. And I, I got to look at it this way, you know, if your sled breaks down and you take it in during the sled season, what's going to happen? Kevin's going to be there a little bit. They, they, yeah. They got a lot of sleds in there. Yeah. So, I mean, anyway, ADS has hooked us up last. I mean, they're the dealer, our dealer of choice. I know there's a lot of others, and I know people have their their to go. I mean, but ADS, Bikeman, you know, um, Divin, Divin and Inc. I mean, I, the sleds have turned out great this year. Hey guys, and always remember check your local avalanche forecast before you ride, and ride hard, have fun, return safe. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, give us a comment below, let us know what your thoughts are. See you next time.